Hello there. Can you believe it's been a whopping 63 years since the iconic TV series, The Andy Griffith Show, 1960, graced our screens? Our childhoods were defined by the thrill and mysteries of The Andy Griffith Show. Imagine the fun of gathering your family on the sofa to revisit this classic, witnessing the cast then and now, reminiscing about those that we've lost, and marveling at the transformations of those who still look fabulous. For all the answers, join us in our video journey. All right, let's explore together. In 1960, Andy Griffith graced the screen with his portrayal of the character, Andy Taylor, a role he brought to life at the age of 34. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on July 3rd, 2012, he left us due to a heart attack at the age of 86 in Manteo, North Carolina. Well, I guess it's all right to have a little taste. After all, it is. Hey, I could play them on the trombone, but I couldn't. And, but I got by with it. I worked hard, and I got by with it. And Don Knotts graced the screen as the character Barney Fife, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 36 during the 1960 filming. It is with heavy hearts that we recall February 24, 2006, when he sadly departed at the age of 81 in Los Angeles, California, following a battle with pulmonary and respiratory complications from pneumonia related to lung cancer. Uh, no, we're gonna take in her laundry. <laughs> what? Fine work for a highly trained, skilled officer of the law. But they had Jenny Lee Harrison was the other girl they brought in. Well, Suzanne was played the real dumb, the real dumb lady. In 1964, George Lindsay graced the screen with his portrayal of the character Goober Pyle, a role he brought to life at the age of 36. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on May 6, 2012, he left us due to natural causes at the age of 83 in Nashville, Tennessee. He said that's where I went to high school. What year did you graduate? 1973. He said that's the year I graduated. So while this conversation is going... In 1960, Frances Bavier graced the screen with her portrayal of the character, Aunt B. Taylor, a role she brought to life at the age of 58. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of her passing on December 6, 1989, due to congestive heart failure due to a heart attack at the age of 86 in Siller City, North Carolina. And remember, you are under oath. Why the new sank of coffee, same as always. Is it not true, Aunt B, that you did knowingly and willfully serve new sank of coffee? He wants to be alone. And uh, they're, they're having a problem of trying to be friendly and show their friendliness and at the same time not intrude. Howard McNear graced the screen as the character Floyd Lawson, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 56 during the 1961 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on January 3, 1969, due to complications following a stroke at the age of 63 in San Fernando Valley, California. Real sad. She took to drink. Her brother found her under the kitchen sink one morning, nipped at the elderberry wine. Her eyes were all puffy and red, and she was... Floyd, where did he go? Oh, he went right home. After all, he was soaking wet. <laughs> Boy, you fall down a well. <laughs> Ron Howard graced the screen as the character Opie Taylor, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of six during the 1960 filming. Fast forward to the present, and as a vibrant 69-year-old, He's relishing life to the fullest, basking in the beauty of Duncan, Oklahoma. That's an awful lot of money for a young. They get it, Pa. They do. This is not a story of, of just trained individuals doing their the thing that they're paid to do. These are volunteers. And yeah, the divers had an expertise. Jack Dodson graced the screen as the character Howard Sprague, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 35 during the 1966 filming. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on September 16, 1994, he left us due to heart failure at the age of 63 in Los Angeles, California. 
in and we'd like to put in a claim. A claim? Well, yeah. We have a right to on our household policy, don't we? Well, yeah. You wear it. But if you don't wear them, it could lead to a tragedy. And believe me, I have seen tragedy. I have seen... Hope Summers graced the screen as the character Clara Edwards, cast in her vibrant presence at the age of 59 during the 1961 filming. It is with heavy hearts that we recall June 22, 1979, when she sadly departed at the age of 77 in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles, California, following a battle with heart failure. You know, whenever I get discouraged or lonely, I take out my book and look at my ribbons. I don't know how to explain it, but... Only place to be Here the worries are small And the kids grow tall Jim Neighbors graced a screen as the character Gomer Pyle, cast in his vibrant presence at the age of 32 during the 1962 filming. It is with profound sadness that we convey the news of his passing on November 30th, 2017, due to immune system deficiencies at the age of 87 in Honolulu, Hawaii. Hello. The job, and uh, then it scared the heck out of me. And I told all of them, the producers and the director of Vanessa, hey, look, guys. In 1961, Betty Lynn graced the screen with her portrayal of the character, Thelma Lou, a role she brought to life at the age of 35. With heavy hearts, we must convey the sad news that on October 16, 2021, she left us due to natural causes at the age of 95 in Mount Airy, North Carolina. Can you think of a, something really funny? <laughs> what, you mean in the show itself? Well, in real life. No, show. in real life, there we had no time. Share your favorite character from the TV series The Andy Griffith Show with me. Drop your thoughts in the comments below this video, and don't forget to show your love by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel, and ringing the notification bell to catch all my upcoming videos. I'm eagerly looking forward to sharing more wonderful memories with you. Thank you all, and see you all soon.